Now before I go cutting any cables and fitting anything in there permanent, doing something that might cost me later if I have to change it, I thought I'd check the see how everything was running on you, see if there's any interference anywhere, anything that needed to be changed. So I run some strings through the cables just the way they're going to run with the retract cables or the steering cables in there. I've got it all tied off to the tail fork there, the steering fork, and through all the pulleys and just the way the cables are going to run. And I'm glad that I did because they do have a little bit of interference here where these two steering cables cross here in the fuselage they're rubbing on each other. All of this stuff is all just in these symmetrical positions. The pulleys here on the floats on the right side and left side are exactly mirror images of each other in exact same position and it appears that the pulley attachments up there on the fuselage that are welded in are exactly opposite each other or exactly mirror image of each other. And that shouldn't be that way. They should be offset a little bit we said this cable drags these two cables rub on each other right here where they cross so if one of them was back farther or farther forward or whatever on any one of these then these cables wouldn't clash with each other like that I'm not sure exactly what I can do about that but I think what I'm going to try to do is switch these brackets around turn these around so that the bolt is on the opposite side on this bracket here and the one up there on the fuselage on the other side and that should move those over about an inch or more what should give me enough clearance there that they don't rub and I think it'll be okay because these are kind of relieved they're at an angle here for the cables to kind of go around the corners there and stuff and I think they'll be okay now my carry through cable system that little pulley that I made up in there is working just exactly the way it was designed to. The cable travel lined up with the cables on there, so I'm happy with that. And that, that looks okay so far. Now this is the reason that these, in my opinion, that these cables should be set up farther forward on the fuselage. Because now with these cables hooked up here, they cross back here towards the back of the float and it makes it tough getting in and out of the between the floats when you're working on it and if you come back uh, anywhere get back in the bushes or something like that with the tail of the airplane these cables are going to get uh, messed up there they're going to interfere with that I think they should be up farther forward so that they come down uh, parallel or up closer to the strut so this whole area back here is not a jangle of piano strings but that would make longer cable runs and everything this this keeps the cable run shorter but I think it would be better and that's the way it was on my 170 I had them all running nice and neat up and and down by the fuselage and along the float like that and they were all out of the way whip line they actually run theirs up inside the fuselage and down through a strut and then back around but to me that's too many pulleys to go around the other thing with this well I guess that's not so bad I was gonna say that this turn here that this cable makes right here was more than a 90 degree turn but now that I get to looking at it the way the cables running it's not more than a 90 degree turn it's just about a 90 degree turn and these pulleys aren't me meant for sharp turns the cables aren't supposed to turn that much they're just supposed to divert it a little bit but it looks like it's going to work out okay. Well, I'm going to change the position of these uh, pulley brackets and see if I can get some relief on those cables so they don't rub on each other. Well, just swapping one of those brackets around gave me some clearance between those strings where they crossed there. I went ahead and swapped out that one on the other side too, turned it around and that gives me plenty of clearance. Now I got about an inch and a half or two inches of clearance between those two cables there so they won't interfere with each other now. So that's good. It was good to check that out ahead of time. So all of that looks good. I'm happy with that. It's all working good. My pulley for my cross cable, my carry through cable is working good. I still have to hook up the water rudder retract cables. I'm still working on mocking up these water rudder steering cables still running the string on them but I went ahead and put the springs on and I've got some turnbuckles here I've got these stainless steel turnbuckles here for sailboats and stuff and I'm going to use those back here 
these take a real beating back here from the salt water and stuff so try to find something that'll hold up a little bit these got kind of a big clevis end on of them on them but they'll work i've got them mounted up in the tail fork there and i'll use one on each one of the main control cables tie it into that bar back there and then hook the spring up to those and then the cable up to that and then i've got one over here on the rear for the drag cable the carry through cable i'll put it over on the left side so that it doesn't get stepped on because they don't walk on that side over there very much and it'll be out of the way over there now that one has to go down on one of the floats either that or hang it in the middle and i'd rather have it down on the float well everything looks like it's lining up pretty good so far i guess the next step it'd be to run the cables and get everything rigged properly I got all these steering cables all made up and hooked up. There's still a little bit to do on them. I've got to put cotter pins in them back here on the rear rudder, on the right rear rudder. That's just got clevises on it with clevis pins that go in the water rudder. It takes cotter pins in that. And then over there on the left rudder, uh, I've got a clevis on one end and a cotter pin in it and on the other side for the carry through cable I've got a stainless steel turnbuckle on that one and that one has got some wire rings in there that they come with for holding the pins in on that but I'm going to go ahead and put cotter pins in there those rings are probably sufficient but I think cotter pins are a little bit more secure anyway those are all set up and back there on the tail the same thing there I've got clevises on the bar there and hooked the springs up to those and then I put turnbuckles from the springs and connected the cable into that. Before we had the turnbuckles going to the bar and then the springs on that and the cable hook into that but that gives a lot of unsprung weight out there a lot more weight we put those springs farther out there on that reach on that cable so I put them in next to the rudder control arm there the the steering control arm kind of help so they're not so much weight out there suspended out into space anyway those are all set up and again I've got to put cotter pins on those so anyway that is all set up uh, I put a clamp on the rudder to hold it centered and then kind of eyeballed my rudder post center so what I'll have to do now is is put the rudders on there and uh, get those centered do my final adjustment with those on but doing it without kind of makes it easier to get around you don't have to bang around into those water rudders and they're hanging there and stuff so now the next thing to do is to rig up the water rudder retract cables and figure that out so i can hang the water rudders up and set up those ca that cable for the retraction I went with 332nd cable instead of 8th inch cable. That's what both airplanes had on them, and that should be plenty enough. That's a secondary control system or a tertiary control system and not a primary control system. And that'll go around those bends better than the stiffer 8 inch or 8th inch cable. Those small, like they're 2 inch pulleys or inch and a half pulleys. Well, that's a tight bend for an 8th inch cable around those pulleys, but okay, those are all done. Now we can move on to the next thing.